Okay, so here we have the Set Me Up page. It'll give you a website, and then it'll give you a setup name for your individual Chromecast. All right, so here I'm on my uh, Windows 8 computer, and I've got Google Chrome pulled up, and I've got the address that you saw on the screen in the uh, address bar. So you'll just hit that, and then it'll ask you to download the app to set up Chromecast and it will be a um, app that will be used inside of Google Chrome and you can also use a cast extension for Google Chrome. So then it tells you to uh, verify that your Chromecast is in your TV like we've already done. You will uh, double click down here in the bottom left hand corner to install. And then once that happens, you will accept the privacy agreement. And then it will actually find on your home wireless network um, the Chromecast. And it actually picked up the one that I have. Uh, I am on a wired connection going through two different routers to actually get to this unit. So you don't have to do anything special. I didn't have to type in a wireless network at all. It just automatically... Uh, picked up a Wi-Fi network and connected. So now it is trying to make a connection to the Chromecast. And then on the TV screen that I have over here, it will show a code just like this. This is literally the exact screen I have up. And it instead of XXX, it has that number that we've already seen. And then here it actually asks for your wireless passwords. So I'll type that in real fast. And then it'll ask you what you want to, uh, to call it. So I will just call it Chris Better. Once you do that, you just hit continue. It will finish setting up the device. It shouldn't take more than 30 seconds. Alright guys, so as it turns out, uh, you do need to be connected to the same exact Wi-Fi network as the one that your uh, Chromecast is on. I had an issue with mine where I was trying to connect through LAN to it, through a, a Ethernet cable. So you'll want to try to do it with a wireless computer such as a wireless laptop. Or you can also do this through your Android phone or your iPhone. So now that we've got it set up, we can just go in and hit start using Chromecast. So we can hit the start using Chromecast button and that will take us right to where we want to go. If you will look at the screen real fast, it says ready to cast in the top. It says that it has its own title and it also shows you that it is connected to that Wi-Fi network and it also gives you a timestamp. So if we come back to this screen, we can hit start using Chromecast. What it will do is it will open a new tab on your Chrome browser um, and that should be the same case for an Android phone or an iPhone and it'll ask you to add an extension and then you just go ahead and accept the app to be added and then it will install so I now have a video that is playing here in my browser I should So I, up here in this top right hand corner, I do have a Chromecast button and I can cast it to Chris's bedroom. And then that top feed the back. goes Press right it, to the, the TV. The video you select will then play on the TV your Chromecast is plugged into. You can control your video from the phone, just like you're used to. Chromecast currently works with YouTube, Netflix, and Google Play movies. Check to make. So, and you can control it straight from your computer browser or you can also use your Android device, like I've said previously, your iPhones, your iPads, Windows 8 computers, and um, most Macintosh computers. They haven't truly said which ones you can't use it on Mac-wise, but Macintosh computers. You cannot use it on Windows phones or Windows RT devices like the Surface RT. So 
you have a pretty wide variety and you should have at least one of these devices in your home. This device only costs $35, so it's an absolute steal if you want to be able to get internet content to your TV without having to jump through a bunch of hoops. So you can use this to stream Hulu and uh, Netflix and all these other things, whereas if you were to be using a Google TV, you would actually be blocked if you tried to go to Hulu. Um, so that's a nice thing that this jumps around. That's all I have to say about it. If you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comments below and hit the subscribe button if you enjoy seeing videos like this.